Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create an expandable list view in Android Kotlin. So, as you can see, this is our demo application. And uh, here we are having list of some items, right? And here I am having two buttons. First one is add and second one is remove. If I click on remove button, this item will be removed from this list, right? As you can see, that item has been removed. And when I click on any of the item, it shows the uh, another submenu which are having sub items for this uh, root item, right? And here I am having cross button. When I click on this cross button, the sub item has been removed from sub list. And when I click on again on root item, this sub item will be hidden, right? And here I am having one more button that is cross button. When I click on this button, this uh, root item will be removed from the list, which means it will be deleted with all its sub items. Let's try it. As you can see, the John has been removed from our list with all its sub item right so in this way uh, we can also add the sub item to our uh, root list right let's add it add and let's give it name as Nilish click on ok now as you can see now new sub item has been added to our sub list that is Nilish under the Anna right so in this way you can add or remove the items from this list view as well as you can create the awesome uh, this UI animation with expandable list view. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial and let's learn how to create this type of awesome expandable list view using Android Kotlin. So head back to Android Studio and here I had created an empty Kotlin project and I had given it name as expanding view. So let's change our project structure to project. And then under our this project, under the app directory, under the source directory, and then again under the main directory, we are having two directories. First one is Java and second one is resource directory. Let's go under the Java directory under our package name. Here we are having the main activity file, right? This is our main source code. And then if you go under resource directory and the layout directory, here we are having some layouts. I will show you step by step procedure how to create this uh, demo application in Android Kotlin, right? But before that, in order to uh, create this expandable list view animation, we need to use some expand external libraries, right? So go to Chrome and just search for Android Expanding View Library, and you will get this library which is created by this user. Uh, must say, uh, this is one of the awesome libraries which I had ever found, right? You can create this type of animation by using this library, right? Of course, when we use on this emulator and as well as I am using this recorder, so it uh, seems little bit slow, right? But if you use on uh, your real-time device or your Android smartphone, it will be much faster than as it seems in this tutorial, right? As you can see here, a sample video. You can see it, it is so smooth while using on real-time device, right? So, in order to add the, uh, in order to add this library into our Android project, we need to add this dependency, right? Just so just copy this dependency from here and go to our project and go to build.gradle file here and under dependency section, just paste it here. As you can see, I had already there did that and then sync your project. After successful syncing, your project is ready to use the expandable list view animation, right? So. Go to our activity main.xml and here first of all we will design a layout for our application and then we will go to main programming right so here we need to uh, change the root layout to relative to layout in order to add all the components here and then I had used the expandable list right this one which is imported by using that library which we had uh, added to our dependency section right uh, so in order to use this expandable list view, we need to use two components. First one is expandable list, which we had added under main activity.xml file. And then second one is we need to use expandable items, right? After expandable list, we need to use expandable item, which are these items, which has been added to expandable list, right, at the background. This one. Right, this is expandable list, and here we are having expandable items. So we need to create two layout files. First one is our main layout file in which we will add expandable list, and then we will create one more XML file which will contain the expandable item, and then we will create a custom layout. Right, 
as you can see this is our custom layout which we will use for our uh, root items here i am having two image view first one is that to uh, add the sub menu sub item and second one is to remove the root item right these two uh, image views i had added here and i had given its source from the drawables folder where i had stored the images to in order to display those images right this one these two images i had stored here it here then here and then we are having this layout and here i am having text view to display the name of our root layout and the root layout has been changed to the native layout right and then if you go to this fourth xml file in this xml file we will uh, store the layout uh, the layout of our sub items right this is our sub item layout first one is text view which will contain the name of our sub item and then here i am having image view which will contain the uh, the cross button of to remove this sub item that button right this one button right so i had shown you how to create the uh, i had shown you the layout for this part and the layout of this part and then under main.xml file we have created the expandable list view and uh, one more xml file which we created to for the expandable items to add expandable items and then this uh, last xml file we had created for this uh, separator right to create this type of view so we had created here view and changed its background to uh, this color purple color and given its name as expandable animation lib library right so this part is this part uh, you can also ignore this uh, part because it is just to improve your UI. Uh, I had created this, right? So now I think our we had completed uh, our UI designing. Now let's go to our main uh, programming section, which is our main Kotlin file, right? So here I have a class which extends the app compact activity, and then on creates uh, method here we are having. Uh, and then I had linked my Kotlin file with my XML file that is main.xml file right uh, this is by default code which you will get and then I had created the variable that is m expandable list which is type of expandable list and then uh, the m expandable list has been uh, object has been assigned this variable has been assigned to the uh, attribute of main uh, from our main activity file that is expandable list main here we have created that in under main xml file and i had given its name as expandable list main and i had assigned this to this variable and then uh, from on create method we had called the function call as create items right so here we are having that function create item uh, now this create item function uh, points to the add item function right this is our add item function now as you can see add item function has some uh, properties here we will talk it about it them later first let's see what this actually does this add, add item method what it actually do, doing so here we are having the variable uh, let's i'll explain this uh, before you that uh, so uh, in add item we had uh, added the four parameters here now first one is title which will be the title of the root uh, item right this one peter joseph paul larry this are all are the root item title right so this title will be stored in this variable and then we are having the array of strings which will be the list of the sub items this is ferrari Mazda, honda which will store in this array list the sub items and then we are having color resource uh, which will be color of this one color blue green which will be displayed by when we extend uh, expand our list view and then we are having one more color that is uh, icon resource which will be color of our icon right this round orange green right so these four parameters we are having and then we have created the variable called as item uh, and which uh, which points to the our xml file which is expanding layout right which is the uh, which is the layout of our this this item right which is layout of our this item so in this way we had linked the our uh, our expandable list from our main activity to the this expandable layout your expandable item right we had linked this both xml file file by using this line of code right 
and then if you go to if condition if item is not equal to null it will check if item is not equal to null at that time the item uh, will get the color resource and color icon resource the both the colors will be assigned to that item and then and then uh, when we click on that item uh, as text view the title will be changed right the color both the colors and the title will be assigned to that item if item is not equals to null and then the item will be ready to create the sub uh, items uh, by using the method create sub items if you click control and click if you press control and click on this method you will be directed to this function right this is the function which is inbuilt in java expanding item dot java class right by using this we can when we click on the root item it will be expanded with its sub items right now this variable sub items uh, is the array of sub items right when we click on this uh, it will go to size and here we have for loop the this variable i will be incremented until it reaches to the sub item dot size right until the last sub item will be reached and at that time the view which is the variable of uh, under separator layout right no this is the variable just a variable which contains the uh, item dot get sub view which can the view of all the sub items right and uh, uh, the i is always goes on incre increasing right so that's the reason the full list of sub items will be displayed in this way right Now here we are having the item dot find by ID and this add more sub items. Here we are we are performing uh, operation on this add button, right? This is the ID of our app add button, right? So when we click on this uh, set on click listener and we will insert the we will create a dialog box first, right? In this way, if you click on this add button, it displays the dialog box here, right? We need to create this dialog box. So in order to create this dialog box, we have created a function which is called as show in, in insert dialog. Just press control and click on this function, you will be directed to that function, right? So insert dialog. So uh, in the, uh, what's happening here? I will explain you. Here we have created a text variable which is a type of edit text and there's builder uh, which is alert dialog dot builder which will create the alert dialog, right? And this is the edit text which we had created in this alert dialog. Right here, this is edit text, and here we are having two button cancel and OK. Right, so set view text and then build it or set title, enter title. We had uh, title change the title view as you can see here, and then we are having two buttons. Right, first one is positive button, and second one is negative button. The negative uh, positive button has a string called as OK, and then uh, when we click on this OK button at that time. It will uh, call the function call as item created. If we can press control and click on this item created function, it comes here. Now this is the function which will be called when we click on OK button. Uh, it will uh, now it calls the function item created, right? So it will create the new sub item when we click on OK button. And then if we click on negative button, uh, which means cancel null, which means it will uh, close that uh, dialog box, right? And then builder dot show to display to display this dialog box on the screen, right? So what we had did, uh, we had created this uh, root layout, and then we had displayed these sub items, and then uh, we had also performed action on this plus button, right? Now what is remaining? When we click on cross button, the item should be deleted. That functioning has been remaining, right? So. Uh, this is the uh, idea of my this that but image view remove sub item when we click on this button at that time It will remove the sub item right as you can see here We had called that function if we click on control and then press on this button It goes to expanding item dot Java class here the by default uh, they had given the source code This library contains the by default source code you just need to call this function and it will delete that it will delete that file right so in this way, you can create this type of demo application, and it is very easy to create it by using this expanding uh, this view animation library, uh, which I, I will give you link in description, and I will also provide the source code 
uh, link in my description right now uh, you must be thinking how i got this uh, font uh, differently so uh, i must tell you i had added the custom font into my application uh, i'll show you how i had created here the directory and uh, this is my custom font right as you can see here muli and muli light uh, i had downloaded their, this font from internet and then i had added this file into my project uh, so if you don't know how to add custom font i will uh, create a tutorial on that and then i will give you a link in description you can check out from there or else if you don't want to see that uh, i'll give you a link of this project in description and you can down directly download this project and can get a reference how to do that right and uh, here so uh, in this way you can uh, uh, create this uh, expandable list view animation in Android Kotlin. Hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.